Hey, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man, and today we're talking about the Dayton Audio B65-2 Air. How good can they sound for $55? I don't know. Grab a beverage, come on in, and let's talk about it. All right. So, Dayton Audio B65-2 Air. What does the air stand for? Air motion tweeter. What's an air motion tweeter? It's a ribbon tweeter. It's not like a regular soft dome dynamic driving tweeter or aluminum tweeter or titanium tweeter. It's different. It moves sound in a different way. It's a bunch of little ribbons put together. However, generally speaking, you see this type of technology on much higher level, much higher costing speakers. It's in the uh, Dayton Audio. Fifty-five dollars. I bought them off Amazon, and I wouldn't recommend that. I'm not even going to link them in the description because you'll end up paying more for them if you buy them through Amazon. Um, just go to uh, I'll link Parts Express website. I don't get a dime off that. So anyway, um, that's how much I love you. So what are they? They're a six and a half inch driver and uh, AMT tweeter, Air Motion tweeter. You see them right here. Um, and on the back, they have very nice clips. They're not very nice, but they're $55. This is, this speaker reminds me of the stuff that I bought when I was, you know, in the eighties and nineties. Yeah. Little clips. You push them in, shove the wire in, you let it go. That's kind of how we, I did things. When I was poor, uh, that's uh, that's kind of the, the uh, connections on a lot of uh, lower level electronics. Although they've gotten a lot better lately, so it's a sealed box. It has a little keyhole hanger on the back, and I would recommend using it. Um, I'm just going to do all this at once. I'm not going to have any cute little transitions. Uh, how do they sound? Surprisingly good for fifty dollars. Um, they sound very good for fifty-five dollars. Very very good if you put them on the wall. If you pull them out from the wall, if you put them like on your desk or something, they don't sound balanced. They sound very trebly, shouty. Um, they're not built well. They're not, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dayton Audio. Dayton Audio is sold by Parts Express. Parts Express is, if you build speakers or anything like that, you probably know Parts Express. They sell drivers, they sell crossover components, they sell a whole bunch of stuff. But they also make these speakers, Dayton Audio. And Dayton Audio has always kind of had a, I don't know, they've always given you a lot of bang for your buck. They care about the sound rather than the looks. And you can tell that they care about the sound rather than the looks. Because uh, there's like dust stuck in the baffle. And I just pulled these uh, recently out of a box and I did not do that. Um, the, uh, the finish is not good, um, at all. There are 45 degree, uh, cuts on the back. They don't really made up very well. They're not built well, but they sound pretty good. They do. I put them against the wall and I turn the sub off. Now listen to my test tracks, Dave Matthews, uh, uh, ACDC, um, Alanis Morissette, Uninvited, some kind of blue, or kind of blue by Miles Davis. So what? They sounded great. They sounded really, really good. If you have them against the wall, facing straight out. When I towed them into me, it was very uncomfortable because there's a lot of trouble. And that's probably where these speakers shine is no pun intended. That's where these speakers really do well, is treble. Uh, air, detail, it's all there. It's all there. But sometimes it's so much there that it doesn't sound very good if you don't have them against the wall. If you have them against the wall, um, you'll get some room gain and it fills the bass out a bit. Enough. It fills the bass out enough. Are these as good as $100 speakers? No, they're not. Uh, they don't look as good, they're not built as good, and they don't sound as good. Um, they do sound like very, very, very good $55 speakers. And I had an old pair of Sony speakers that I bought 
I think maybe in the early 90s, and they were 60 bucks a pair, and I remember them. Um, these sound way better than those. Way better than those. Way, way better than those. Um, these do have kind of a crossover. They have a capacitor, which uh, they call it a first order, which means a single capacitor on the tweeter. So what that does is it filters out uh, some of the lower frequencies. Um, you can tell there's there's no crossover. It would be kind of interesting to pull this thing apart and actually try to make it sound better. Um, because the driver is... The funny thing is if you go to Parts Express and just buy just the, the, the tweeter, I think it's like... I think they're like 15 if not $20 a piece. So just the component, you could buy this and just pull the components out of it and build a different speaker if you wanted and build a crossover. However, that's not what they're sold for. They're sold as a, a very inexpensive pair of bookshelf speakers, and they do that job very well. If you're going to get those, these, put them on a wall or shove them right up against the wall. Um, don't point them at you because they will get very shouty. Do they need a subwoofer? Yes, absolutely. Uh, they're a sealed enclosure, so they don't go very deep. They, they're rated down to 70. Um, and I had a subwoofer on them. It made them sound much better, but the likelihood that someone's buying $55 speakers to mate them with a subwoofer is probably unlikely. Uh, so where I see these uh, being used at is a little two-channel desktop situation. Grandma or grandpa wants a little system have a little system in the gar garage probably garage is where these should live hammer a nail into the wall hang these up and hook them up to a 50 50 dollar little two channel amp which can also be purchased uh, from parts express and dayton audio um, mid-range is bass is just like anemic on these unless you put them against the wall and then it sounds okay mid-range has the tendency to sound metallic and kind of sounding like it's coming through a can but it, sometimes it also sounds very good like Alanis Morissette's voice sounds incredible on these so I guess the top half of the mid-range is 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 better and the probably the reason is is because that's where the tweeters picking up so when you only have two drivers and you don't have a crossover um, there's going to be all sorts of spikes. So as a speaker rolls off, so the, the woofer will have the low frequencies, and then when it gets into the high frequencies, it'll dip down, and then it'll start to kind of jump around. And the same thing with the tweeter. So the tweeter will have the high frequencies be pretty uh, straight line, and then when it starts to roll off, it starts to bounce down. So if you get two of the bouncings at the same spot, you'll get all sorts of craziness, or two troughs at the same spot, then you'll go way down in the frequency response, or in, way down in the, um, the frequency response will be greatly reduced where the, if two troughs meet up at each other, because they sum. Uh, so if you have two, in a perfect world crossing over, you'll have two slopes coming down at the same slope hitting at the same frequency, so therefore if you add those frequencies together, it comes back to flat. You're not in a perfect world when you don't have a crossover. Even when you have a crossover, you're still not in a perfect world, and you're still going to have issues. But the bottom line, for $55, these do sound pretty good. Would I buy them? Well, tomorrow I'm doing, it's going to be Speaker Saturday tomorrow, and it's going to be Speaker Saturday shootout sub $100 speaker Saturday shootout tomorrow. So if you can subscribe and watch that video, because I'm going to compare these to the uh, Numi BS fives, the Sony SSC S five. What else? Poke T 15s. I think that's it. Oh, and the Micah MB 42 X's. So all those, we're going to have a big shootout. We're going to put them into a pit, break some pool cues, throw them down there and let them fight it to the death and see who wins. Um, they're good. For $55, they're really good. They're really actually surprisingly good. Um, and I think if you aren't used to maybe higher end speakers, it'll be all the speaker you want. Um, Mid-range is not that great on these. 
Trebles, great, fine, as long as you don't point it directly at you. Base is pretty lean, uh, but if you get it in the right position, it can it can sound okay. I was enjoying it. I listened to uh, some, uh, I just put it on um, random on my uh, computer, background. That's, that's where they should be. These should be background speakers or maybe surround speakers. Um, but, or they should be your first speaker on your journey into uh, audio enjoyment. Um, they're good. They're really good for $55. But I think there's better options, and we can talk about that tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're giving away, aware, we're giving away a pair of clip clipsh. I was just told in the comments that I don't pronounce clipsh correctly. So we're giving away aware away a pair of clipsh R51Ms. Um, I will link that video in the description. You can watch that video and find out how to enter yourself into the giveaway. Um, please like the video, please subscribe. I have a ton of other videos. And uh, subscribe so you can come back and watch the sub $100 Saturday speaker shootout. It's happening tomorrow morning. I'm gonna have some coffee, maybe some bacon and eggs, and we're gonna have a good old time and talk about speakers and see which one comes out on top. And with that, I am Randy, I'm the Cheap Audio Man.